so the information you take in how can you transform this information into action because you might get overwhelmed with all these things happening and you don't even know how to take action Now, I wrote something here that everyone needs to look at themselves in, the, in this digital age when they have when they have been exposed to disturbing and unsettling content for a long period of time. While it's good to keep in mind that each person is different and will for and will find different coping mechanisms to help themselves, I prepared a couple of suggestions I believe might work for you because this, these are the things I did for the past three days. I've been away to just be able to think and calm down and really get my head straight and then the very first one is that you need to recognize the problem now is, is, is it's easy to dismiss the many signs that things are happening that are not right but then recognizing the problem will really help you to know how best to deal with these positions you know it can be very easy to dismiss the signs that you have been affected by emotional distress but if you feel that your mood and your behavior are shifting because you are consuming materials which are making you worried, angry, stressed, you know, you need to give yourself space um, to acknowledge that, yes, this, is, this thing is happening to me. I think that's the only way you could start to really be of help or, or value to this particular, you know, situation. There are a lot of online resources that you might find helpful, you know, to just help you really understand what is going on exactly. What is most important right now is for us to let our voice be heard and speak up for those who can't speak for themselves your voice or your contribution or your action can actually go a long way so once you recognize the problem it really helps you to start to know how to work about it how you can help in any way how you can be of 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 of, of i don't know how you can just be in that particular position how you can channel help to those who need it now one other important thing i believe you should learn and you should strive to do is to speak up you need to talk it out like talk it over speak up about these things you know connect with people you trust and let them know how you're feeling like me i had to call a friend and i as i point out my heart to him that see um right now i'm hurting deeply like i'm really really hurting even though it's not physical emotionally i'm down and you know the chances I, I i was foreseeing in my head is that he also was feeling the same way she also was feeling the same way i spoke to three people actually and i realized that three of them are feeling exactly the same way i'm feeling and that was able to help us you know connect closer and really talk better and it made me realize that this thing is a is a global thing it's happening to every single person i was reading tweets and my heart broke into pieces like i just started weeping like I was crying physically, like tears were rolling down my eyes, seeing that people are experiencing things. Now, one one other thing I did that was consistent in these three days was um, I took steps to look at my sleep. You know, in my sleep, I, I, I couldn't sleep well, to be honest. I couldn't sleep well. I, I kept rolling in my bed several times, um, worried and, and, and in pain that the world is in is in chaos that the world is upside down and so many so many so many other things and i think that this would be a great time for you to you know look take a resolve to yourself sometimes you're in bed with your phone it's not healthy because you keep piling up those information over and over again in your mind filling yourself with information that is detrimental to your health even though you're trying to stay up to date on what is happening but then you can start to uh, really reduce that you know another good way to another good tip i i have seen that is working really well for me is um making sure that i get enough sleep in general because um you don't sleep well you are still consuming information that is painful that is hurting you as long as much as see as much as this information is out there and it's not good it will have a, a negative effect on your emotions on your, on your mental health and so many other things so prioritizing your sleep is important but then um it's easy to stay up at night streaming your favorite series but it's very beneficial that you try to keep it on a down and really you know stick to a regular sleeping routine because this way um you tend to start to bring back your yourself so make sure your mental health is in check make sure you get enough sleep and just be just be healthy be fine so that you can also help someone who needs to be fine because um, a blind person can be leading another blind person so you need to actually get yourself in check before you can be able to help another person 
one of the most important one i would really advise that we take note of is you need to give yourself a timeout. you know we all need to take a break from um, a screen break to be honest like just take a little while to process what is happening maybe take a break off social media just to be able to get your general well-being in check it is important that our general well-being is kept intact because um you can't help someone if you're not fine i already said that you know it doesn't mean taking a break from social media entirely but maybe you should cut it down a little bit reduce the number of information you take in and a couple of other things just reduce your time re reduce the time you spend online because this will really help you um really get things right um i think you know allowing yourself to take a break and really study about these things be knowledgeable about these things not just consuming irrelevant information and one thing i've said several times in some of my videos is you need to actually you know exercise like i said in the video about um, finding mental clarity exercise is good it really helps you stay focused you know you could try a combination of the following which i found online and i've tried to implement a couple of them um that focus on five seconds of on five objects you can see around you focus on the contact your body makes to your chair and to the floor um all the odds or drink or cold drink in your hand and full and fully feel the hot or cold temperature smell a food or flour or other items splash water on your face say your name your age you know just be able to interact with your body and all these things put together there are things that can really help you to start to um really uh die down all those information you've been feeding on that hasn't been helpful to you focus on your breathing and try to calm yourself down regulate your body um just make sure you are properly oxygenated you know drink water now this is you taking care of yourself so that you can be able to help someone else you know so around this entire session all by saying that you need to remember that you are not powerless the smallest of words in your mouth that you speak out can be a saving grace for someone else you know the information you feel uh if i share this nobody will benefit from it that might be the solution to someone's problem um that's that that three thousand right in your account that you feel if i donated to a charity or you know donating to these courses you know you feel it's, what would it do trust me it would do a, it would do a lot it would do a lot you know the the greatest intentions is not as is not as important as the the smallest of action so take action you're not powerless you can do something and like i mentioned to you to, to my instagram community i told them for those who can't donate you know to the cause you could go online and sign petitions you know sign petitions for change for justice for peace you know for people to be brought accountable for their actions and so many other things there are petitions like that online go online and you know be a part of this if you can donate that's amazing and one of the most important things we can do in these uncertain times is to remember that whenever the headlines make us feel helpful helpless in the face of current crisis there are steps we can take to look at ourselves you know if we all take some time to talk to to each other to give ourselves break and recognize that we are being overwhelmed we will stay stronger and healthier you know we need to actually prioritize community and friendship in, in times like this love us to prevail over everything so in times like this you should really make sure that we come together and ensure that our mental well-being remains strong during this entire um, global pandemic um you know the fight against police brutality and all these things we need to come together your voice is important your donation is important whatever it is whichever way you can help it is important and i really advise that whichever way you can please be of help to someone today and um i pray that all these things end soon that peace will, re peace will be restored justice will be served and change will come